What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. You know, I haven't uploaded Quincy Blunt and Daniel Taylor in a, quite a while. You know what I'm saying? I've been uploading this UFC, these ranked game plays most of the time, kind of every day, daily. Missed a couple days, but I've only been uploading UFC and NCAA, and it's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? I had games recorded. This is actually week 14. Still playing on uh, All Madden. Well, I'm not even sure if I put that video out. I put this game on All Madden, and the three games before this one, they they couldn't render. You know, I couldn't like like finalize the video out of Sony Vegas. It was mad weird. It would freeze while it was rendering, and it, rendering takes a while too. I, I thought it'd be working. I think it'd be working, and it just freeze midway, and I, I don't even know. And I got to use Control Alt Delete to to close the program. But it, it was really like man. Because I recorded the same commentary twice for Just for a different video I was talking about the NFL With the free agency and all that stuff All the stuff that's happening And I'm like yo I, I had to record this twice And I couldn't use any of those videos So I had to delete them And so I don't know why those particular videos didn't work But I tried this one I rendered it before I started the commentary and it worked So hopefully it's not the commentary that's messing it up. It's Daniel Taylor. Once again, too strong. He's too strong, too determined. You can't bring him down. When he's this close to the goal line, bro, he trucked one play. Oh, my. Clay Matthews. Who is that? Who is Clay Matthews? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's why the uh, Quincy Blunt Daniel Taylor series has been a little bit uh, behind everything else. And this is why I don't play on all Madden. I don't like to play on all Madden because um, it's not really. It's a challenge. I can play on it when I can control the full team, but this touchdown right here, I have no idea how that happened to the cornerback. He just gets beat by Jordy Nelson. I, I don't know. Uh, I I like playing on. I couldn't. I don't like playing on all Madden, but I can with the full team. But with with Dan Taylor and, and Quincy Blunt. It's like different on defense. I wish I could have it set like I play all on all pro for defense and all Madden for offense because all Madden on defense is really, really like yeah, the, the tackling. Like you get used to playing on all pro and, and, the, and the assist is there. I think I showed it a couple times in this game. I, I completely missed the hit stick. I miss. I run past the, the quarterback. I run past the running back because I don't got that uh, that assist. So. It's crazy going from playing with assisted on everything else and then not playing with it and when you when I step on the field with Quincy Blunt. But for running back, it kind of doesn't change. It just changes the, the blocking. Uh, your, your blockers do less, but some plays you get to get to make play out of, out of the little that they do like that last one. They, they held them up just enough. As soon as I passed, it was all over after that. But everybody else on the offense just plays bad. The computer's defense starts to kick up. And they, sometimes they kick up way too much, in my opinion. Like, if you're playing the Seahawks on all Madden, you're going to see diving interceptions to completely jump routes on the first time you do that route. It's just so crazy. Like, I, I just don't like to deal with it. I just play on all pro. I'm fine with just blowing the computer out. Sometimes I don't even blow them out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it is a close game because I'm trying out new stuff. But it doesn't really matter. But you see right here, all Madden. Affecting the offense again. I have never fumbled trying to dive into the end zone, but I guess this time Just on all Madden the ball hit somebody when I was up in the air. I drop it But does it matter? I don't even know if they counted this as a touchdown for Daniel Taylor or if they counted it as a touchdown for that lineman I, I didn't check didn't feel like checking and um, you know, be just trying to hold him down Quincy Blunt it took like eight to six people to tackle that man it's just crazy. Now they're going to do all verticals. Aaron Rodgers gets sacked, get the fumble, but they recover. 30 seconds left before halftime. We're trying to come in on a blitz. And that's another thing. I hate the defensive. The, to, what is it? The uh, it's, it's when you engage in a block. On all pro, it sucks. But on all Madden, it's terrible. I'm going to tell you all right now. Like Quincy Blunt and Dale Taylor, 99 overall. You know what I'm saying? All these stats may be 99 or 95, might be the lowest, but I don't know what it is. But I can't even get off a block with, with, with Quincy Blunt on all Madden, you know what I'm saying? I can barely do it on all pro. It's just so, like, not fun to use. I went over it 
in the, in the uh, my, my Madden 16 wish list. And uh, I might do another a third part to that to that series if you guys want if you guys want me to talk about something else because I do have a lot of things that I think that that, that should be uh, a part of Madden or what they should fix. So um, if you guys uh, want to hear that, hear some more of that Madden 16 wish list, just uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll talk about it again. Um, probably on one of these videos because I'm about to record. I like I like talking about the gameplay with the NCAA series because that's how. It's about me, you know what I'm saying? It's not really, it's, it's something new to the channel. I could use that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, can, I can do that with here because these games are type long. As Matt Ryan throws his interception, I can't catch him. On all pro, would he have jumped around though, to be honest? I really don't know. Not really care. Not really caring at this point because it's still tied up. We're going to get the ball back. So we're going to run it up the middle. I done. I did that play about like 10 times this game, ran up the middle. I thought I had the first, didn't, didn't get the first. Do the same play again. Getting the first another 10 yards. And Daniel Taylor is just too much. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I can actually get the ball more with Daniel Taylor. Because sometimes Matt Ryan does not feel like throwing throwing me the ball in, or, or, or something like that. But you can see the run, this, this run play, the inside zone, is it, it works so well against the 3-4 front. Because uh, there's only three down linemen. Everybody else is like five. <laughs> It's three down linemen. There's two two linebackers on the sides. Everybody else is five yards back. So inside zones is definitely the best to do against that. And it's it's crazy because we get another touchdown with Daniel Taylor on a goal line formation. They got to show Clay Matthews because he sucks right now. He can't tackle Daniel Taylor. And um, we just find the hole, run a couple of people over, we get in the end zone. But certain runs in this game, this is actually what I like. Certain runs work against certain formations. So. You can say, let's take the inside zone for example. That is really good, really, really good against uh, formations where most of the people are on the line, like a three-four, possibly the the uh, four-six bear or something like that, because because all the blocks are happening right there, and you really just have to find the hole. But for powers and stuff like that, like a power O, or a regular power O off, off out of I form, you can't really do it as well. You won't have as much success. As you will, uh, going against a 3-4 or 4-3, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to run it against a 3-4. And I usually would like the pass against a 3-4, but it's not like you can't really do that either because now they got four linebackers on the field. Matt Ryan with an overthrow right there. That's that all-Madden status. And on their last touchdown, I ran past Aaron Rodgers. You know, I would have probably got the sack, but he ends up throwing the ball down to the ground again. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I can barely see what's going on back there. And now since it's on all Madden, I really don't know what's going on. I got to chase people down. Had to run away from that block over Quincy Blunt. But you know what I'm saying? It's a tough game. You know what I'm saying? I might um, up the minutes. We trying to injure Eddie Lacy right here, going straight to the legs, flipping him. But he gets the first down. Aaron Rodgers, there's nobody open. I can't see behind me. So we going to rush up. Aaron Rodgers, he flipped somebody off of his back and managed to throw the pass away. That's the all Madden swag. So we out here again. It's still tied up. It's under two minutes left. They driving down the field. Can't really do anything. We trying to come up on a Quincy Blitz. And look at this. Huh? Could have had a sack. Probably minus five yards. He ends up gaining two because he's stumbling around. Now they got to kick the field goal. It's fourth and three. They miss. Bounces off the crossbar. I was kind of thinking I should have been back there. Could have returned it. Or something like that. Under a minute left. Matt Ryan. Does, what is he doing? What is he doing, bro? Just throw the ball away. I don't know who he thinks he is. He's not capping it. He's not Andrew Luck. He can't do any of that. But we trying to come out. What? The ball goes straight to the ground. That all Madden swags. We have to punt the ball. 30 seconds left. They they getting these tight coverage passes off. Calling the timeouts. They still on their side of the field, though. They get another pass over the middle. I'm missing with Quincy Blunt. Because it's all, man. All, man, the swag time. Aaron Rodgers is clutch time. We over here playing the defense on the tight end coming out the backfield. Did he catch that? He probably did not. I don't know if he caught that or not. But we guarding this route perfectly. He ends up finding this man right at that red mark. Now they get R in field goal range. And look at this. Aaron Rodgers takes off. And guess what? He... Just so it just so happens when he gets tackled, 
the time stops. They gets to call the timeout at one second left to kick the game winning field goal. This is that all Madden swag, that all Madden cheese, that all Madden, whatever you want to call it. They cheat on all Madden, I am telling you. I don't play on Hall of Fame in 2K. Don't play on the hardest level in UFC. I barely play on all Madden and Madden. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't do it. Because that's when you experience the most computer cheese or, or, or the most computer try hard ability. You know what I'm saying? They can even send nanos on all Madden. It's crazy. But uh, I will keep. I probably will. I probably just, um add more minutes to the game if I'm if I'm gonna keep playing on all Madden. Probably just add more minutes so we can start kicking up, man. I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess Aaron Rodgers was way too clutch for the number one ranked defense in the league right now. But, uh, hey, you got to do what you got to do if you're the computer. You got to do everything to win. But um, this video, it is coming to an end. So comment if you do want me to see, if you do want me to talk about that Madden 16 wish list to the third part, the trilogy. Comment if you want to see that. I'm going to share all the stats like in the rest, like, like, like the rest of every video. And, um, See Daniel Taylor's stats. He does have two touchdowns. I think they did count that first one as his. That's his first fumble all season. But this video is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.